Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Anthony Tennyson from Awaken Life Sciences. How are you today? Tracy, I'm really good today and it's a pleasure to speak with you and your audience. It's always exciting for me to get an update on what Awaken is doing. And before I ask you about some of your most recent news, because you've had a real news flow happening this spring um, and progress on your program and treatment program, can you briefly give investors out there that are going, mm, give us a compelling reason why we should put Awaken at our top of our food chain of stocks that we're watching and doing due diligence on, of course. Um, because what we're doing is incredibly relevant. We're developing combined therapeutics to treat addiction, which is one of the biggest unmet medical needs of modern times. And we've got a near-term focus on alcohol use disorder that affects 400 million people and for which there are currently no really effective therapeutics available. You could view what we do, Tracy, as being the third evolution in the treatment of alcohol use disorder. Evolution one was talk-based therapy, like the AA, which is admirable, but has an 80 to 90% failure rate. Second evolution was, say, a company like Vivitrol or a brand like Vivitrol, which is drugs and therapies used in sequence. So the drugs to improve the probability of, of uh, drying out and then making space for the therapy to come in. What we're doing is different, and it's been proven now in clinical trials to be significantly more effective than anything that's currently available in the marketplace. We are using drugs and therapies in combination, so that combined therapeutics to treat alcohol use disorder in a very, very effective way. I would like to encourage everybody who's currently looking up Awaken Life Sciences or may not be familiar with this story to also look up your background, Anthony, because this isn't just uh, you know, another uh, great idea or something that's in a research lab. Uh, you are a successful entrepreneur that's redirected all your talents to this particular uh, 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 objective. And recently, I mean, the news flow is fantastic. You just announced uh, another three operational uh, therapy clinics in the UK and Norway. You're actually doing what you say you're going to do. So can you give us an update uh, on that recent news release? Uh, absolutely happy to. So, so we're, we're a company, we've got three core activities. R&D, clinics, and commercialization at scale. In our R&D, we are developing those combined therapeutics I mentioned before, drugs and therapies to be used in combination. That approach is new. So what we have is we have a clinics business that enables us to fine tune the delivery model for those therapeutics before we commercialize them at scale. So really strong R&D engine, clinics platform. We've got three clinics operational in the UK and Norway. Um, means we're a biotechnology company generating revenue in our second financial year. And then as we have, as we fine tune the delivery model for these therapeutics in our clinics, we will then start to commercialize those at scale, starting off with the US in Q4 this year. You're going exactly to my next question, which many of you out there, because we have a large American audience, are going, hey, what about the U.S.? I see you just appointed a new head of commercial development in the U.S. Can you give us an update on how the American market is looking for you? Indeed, I can. So we've appointed uh, Kevin Lorenz um, to awaken as the head of commercial development for the U.S. I used the example of Vivitrol earlier on in our conversation. Uh, Kevin was actually the head of uh, head of sales for Vivitrol for the Western region of the US. Vivitrol is that second evolution of using drugs to treat addiction. And Kevin brought that brand from zero to $100 million plus revenue in the Western region of the US. In fact, he contributed a third of their total annual sales. So he's coming in to help us replicate the success that Vivitrol have had in treating addiction in the US, starting with us where we out-license everything that we're developing in that clinics business that I mentioned, R&D engine, clinics business to fine tune before commercializing at scale. So Kevin is in to enable us to commercialize our therapeutics for the treatment of alcohol use disorder in the US starting in Q3, Q4 this year. And part of that treatment that you were discussing, you also just announced uh, the completion of phase one of your drug discovery program. What is this? And, 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 and I'm certain that our audience will be as excited as I was after reading this news release. 
So in our R&D engine, um, we are not just a one-trick pony. We are not just betting the business on one compound to treat one indication. We are de-risking Awaken for investors, not only by being a biotech that has a revenue stream in its second financial year, but by having more than one R&D work stream active in our R&D business. So we are at clinical stage for ketamine-assisted therapy, for alcohol use disorder, and for a range of behavioral addictions. We are also at clinical stage research for MDMA-assisted therapy for alcohol use disorder. And we like how ketamine and MDMA work in making psychotherapy more effective in the treatment of addiction, because those compounds enable a therapist to get through to the root cause issue that has led to the addiction becoming, the, the addiction forming. And it enables people to develop much more robust coping and dynamic coping mechanisms to reduce the probability of relapse. However, and this is, this is really important for our business model, MDMA, we, we're learning in our clinics businesses, MDMA, whilst it's great, it may be difficult to deliver at scale in a clinics business because it takes six hours to work from start to finish with a six hour recovery window, which is gonna be a challenge from the client, from the therapist, from the delivery infrastructure, and also in due course from the payer. So what we are doing is we are developing a version of MDMA that will work in two hours with a two hour recovery window, which will enable us and our customers and our partners in due course to treat two people per day per room, rather than one person per day per room, increasing the commercial success of using our compounds in clinic when stacked up against, say, MDMA. So we're particularly excited about the pro progress we're making there. We have partnered with Evotech, the world's largest drug discovery company, and we have rapidly completed a hit to lead program where we went through MedCam, in vitro, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. To, and we have now identified two lead series with drug-like properties that do what we want them to do. And we are analyzing the data now with our scientific team, which is led by Professor David Nutt, the global authority in this industry, to enable us to prioritize one as a lead and one as a backup with the goal of moving into lead, into lead optimization later this year. Well, this is a very serious topic. As your about paragraph uh, introduces the investor, addiction is one of the biggest unmet medical needs of our time, affecting over 20% of the global population. I know absolutely everybody on the planet has been affected by addiction, either directly or indirectly. So, you know, however, everybody can support you. I recommend everybody at Investor Intel take a look at Awaken Life Sciences and uh, keep up the amazingly great work. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you very much, Tracy. It's been a pleasure.